So uh, just prior to coming in here, Mike Matheson of the Panthers was suspended two games for his uh, play against Elias Peterson. And the explanation, courtesy of the NHL and the Department of Player Safety, two games for interference and unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. Um, what do you make of this whole story? I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, again, when when the, the Department of Player Safety goes through its process, and there is a process, you know, I, they review every play. They look at all the penalties. I mean, they s- just scour over games, right, on a, on a play-by-play basis every single night of the regular season and playoffs. That's what they do, and preseason for that matter. Um, so when it elevates to the point where George Peros has decided that there's worthy of a hearing, then they're not wasting anybody's time. Like nine times out of ten, you're, you're getting this suspension. So I wasn't surprised. Yeah, two games, I think, is pretty harsh. I thought it would be one, so he gets two. Um, I think that aside from the act and the fact that you know it was a late play, the puck had left, um, and then there's the obvious throwdown. The 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 main factor for me in the suspension is the fact that Elias Patterson was hurt and suffered a concussion. And injury, 100%. We know factors in. They announce it as part of the uh, explanation video that they put out. Right? You know, a lot. Elias Patterson was hurt. So the injury is factored in. This is just my theory and my opinion on it. When it's a concussion, then the radar goes up. And, and I mean, it goes up from around the National Hockey League yep. head office. Most toxic word in the sport. Yeah. yeah same thing with Tom Wilson. Yeah, yeah, he laid that guy out and he was it's significantly 20 injured. Games, 20 games. They, they have sent a message. They are not dealing with head concussion problems anymore. Yeah. No way, no how. Not doing it. Yeah. Well, and that's why, again, I keep keep coming back to unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay, maybe that's but interference, that's, maybe that's, it's roughing, but how? Come so up he, with a different explanation. That's what I'm saying. So if he's not concussed, then it's it is it's sportsmanlike, like, or is it still unsportsmanlike? I don't, yeah, that's where I'm like, how do you draw the line? On and that? and because, does it rise to the level of supplemental discipline if there's no injury on the play? Well, probably I, not. I, I don't think there's a chance it does. Probably not. I mean, the, you know, Stephen Wacom gets on the blower and calls the officials and says, like, are, are we paying attention, please? Yeah. Like, can Two we minutes for dole out some or... penalties there? Sure. Um, but unsportsmanlike in the, ter- in, in, in the fashion that he <laughs> threw Elias Pettersson down to the ice. I mean, okay, back in the day, that probably happened once, twice a night. Well, but I you still know, think it happens it's just a lot. Not tricks. acceptable anymore. In a in a scrum, some guy gets punched in the head. Is that sportsmanlike? You know, Marshawn chases Lars Eller around and then yeah. makes him fight when he didn't want to fight. Was that sportsmanlike? Yeah. You know, that's what I, I. It's just it's a very broad term to use for this unsportsmanlike conduct. You could use it 15 different times a night. Yeah. And I mean, they chose look, to use it here. You know, we dissect and we analyze and and we criticize when suspensions are handed out because that's what we do. Um, at the end of the day, you know, fans are, are missing, and we're part of this group, the opportunity to watch this kid play, right? Which I mean, who terrible. knows how long he's going to be out. Now, the flip side of that is injuries happen in the sport. You know, he could have been hit legally by Mike Matheson and concussed, right? If that was Freddie the Goat, I'm not even doing this right now. Well... First of all, Freddie the Goat, 6'5", 230. Matt I don't Matheson care. I not don't care. Hit him. If it was Freddie the Goat, we're not having this convo. Well, what if Matheson did to him what Marshawn did to Eller? What happens? Multiple. Look. But what yeah. happens? I'm being serious yeah. because Eller didn't want to fight. And what I, if Eller that, did that, that, that to Marshawn? Yeah, that's an interesting debate. Um, and now people around the league actually believe that Lars Eller fought back. My counter to that was he just dropped it was self defense, yeah. man. He, he didn't he, have a choice. He didn't have a choice. I mean, he was. He, I mean, he ate a couple of, you know, pretty big punches from Brad Marchand late in the battle, if you want to call it that. Mm-hmm. I mean, how? Who knows how many he would have taken if he he hadn't got his hands up and at least tried to defend himself in some fashion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it if it involves a, a young player like that in Pedersen, and the outcome is similar, where you know, he gets cracked a couple of times and he's concussed on the play. You know, is, is, that is it five a fight? minutes in a game and there are five minutes and that's it? And he's out and we're all moving on? Yeah. <laughs> like you can concuss a guy by doing that. But, I, I, but that's the age old yeah. fighting versus, you know, player safety and, and how that factors in.